Let's build again with Python. This project will be a spam detector. You'll be able to give it some input text and it will be able to classify it into spam or ham, which is just another name for not spam. Let's get to doing some natural language processing. What's natural language processing? Well, it's a field of AI. NLP is a way for computers to process and analyze natural language data in large amounts. This is tough considering all the nuances and in intent, the ambiguity of human languages, and the presence of colloquialism and homonyms. In this project, we will implement a TF-IDF vectorizer to vectorize the document so we can apply numerical classification methods to it to analyze it. TF is the term frequency, a measure of how often the term appears in a document. This is its frequency in the document divided by the total number of terms in the document. IDF is the inverse document frequency. This is log of the total number of documents to the number of documents with the term. This is to offset the TF IDF value so extremely common words like the and to may not affect the results. We'll also use an SVM classifier. Support vector machines are supervised learning models with associated learning algorithms that analyze data used for classification and regression analysis. We'll use this to classify the messages. We need scikit-learn for this project. This is a free machine learning library for Python. What we'll do here can be divided into three clear steps. Perform case normalization on the text. We could also perform other kinds of normalization, like stemming and removing stop words, but just case normalization will do for this spam detector. Then we'll train a TF-IDF vectorizer. We talked about this a while ago. And then we'll run an SVM classifier on the text to analyze. We'll create a virtual environment for this one as well. Open the command prompt and get to the desktop. Let's call the virtual environment spam detector. Move to its directory and activate the virtual environment. Now that we're in, let's begin. Have a look at the project directory structure. Inside lib, we have site packages. Let's also create directories for images and data sets. Inside images, we have icon, and the picture to put on the first screen for the spam detector. And this is the data set we'll use, spam.csv. This is the SMS spam collection data set and has 5574 text messages written in colloquial English. 87% of these are ham and 13% are spam. Now let's begin with the code. This is the check spam module. This imports pandas and some functions and modules from sklearn, which is how we call scikit-learn when working with Python. Using pandas, we read our dataset. Let's also rename the columns v1 and v2 to analysis and message. Now let's define a function normalize that takes in a message and converts it to lowercase before returning it. We'll apply this function to the data frame. Now let's split the data into training and testing sets using only 10% of it for the testing. Create a TF-IDF vectorizer and train it. Then run an SVM classifier. We could also build a confusion matrix here, but we've already tested the classifier. This one gives us about 15% false negative and absolutely no false positive. And this function checksum vectorizes our custom messages and runs the SVM classifier to predict whether it's spam or ham. On to the GUI. This is the spam detector module. It imports stuff from tkinter and pill and the function check spam from the check spam module. We have a top window with configured size, title, icon, and a background color. Put the spam detector image on this window using a label and a button to open a new window where we can carry out the classification. Let's also put a help button at the top right of the screen. 
This will open a new top level window giving information about the project. Also we use the compound parameter to pack these two things into one button, an image and some text. So when we click this button, it takes us to the show help function. This creates a top level window, then packs labels onto it for the questions and answers for what is spam and what is this spam detector. And clicking this new button takes us to the new test function. This creates a new top level window and slaps on a label stating type in a message to check. We've also added a text widget for the user to put the message in. By default, we make it display put your message here. Keep this text selected and keep the focus on this widget. So if the user begins typing, it automatically replaces this line. We also make a call to the show test button function. In this, we create a test me button and put it on the screen. Clicking this takes us to the check function. Once here, we make a call to the check spam function getting the text from the text widget and store this in the variable result. If this is the string spam, we modify result to definitely spam, else we make it that's not spam. Then to display the result, we create and place a label on the screen. Let's run this now. This is our spam detector, this image, the fev icon, this test button and this help button. Help gives us this brief FAQ. Time to test a message. This one is not spam. Add one word and you'll see it now classifies it as spam. And this one is ham. This is spam again. And this is ham. And this is spam. Have you a message in your text you'd like to classify? I'm your instructor Ayushi Sharma and I'd love to know your experiences in the discussion forum.